Hi, my name is Shay, and um, in this we're going to cover two chemistry, I guess, topics. The first topic is dilution. And um, the problem reads, if 25 milliliters of 0 0.5 moles of NaOH neutralizes 35 milliliters of a monoprotic acid, what is the molarity of the acid? Well, since we're dealing with dilution, you always use the equation M1V1 equals M2V2. This would be the molarity of the first um, of the first solution the volume. This is the one molarity of the second one and the volume of the second one. So we have the since we're solving for the molarity of the second acid, we plug in what we have. So M1 is equal to 0 0.5. V1 is equal to 25 milliliters. V2 is equal to 35 milliliters. And M2 is question mark. That's what we're solving for. So then we just do a little bit of algebra. So you do 0 0.5 times 25 is equal to M2 times 35. Now we have to, all we have to do is isolate M2. So we get M2 is 0 0.5. That is how you do dilution. And our second topic is chemical nomenclature. Um, there are different types of chemicals out there, so the first one we're going to talk about is binary compounds of the metal and the non-metal. These are usually two words, so what you do is you take the first out of it and you leave it as the same. For instance, if you're dealing with sodium chloride, you just leave it. If you're, doing with, if you're dealing with NaCl, you would just leave Na as sodium. Now the second element, you take the root word of it and add the suffix IDE. So second element in NaCl is chlorine. So I take off, I just keep the word chlor and add IDE. So I get sodium chloride as my nomenclature for NaCl. The second type of uh, chemical we're dealing with is nominals, a nominal and a nominal. Again, this will also be two words. For this one, you leave the first element as the same, and you add a prefix depending on how many they are. So for instance, if I had two sulfurs, I'd put the word di in front of that. If I had three sulfurs, I'd put the word tri in front of that. Now for the second element, you keep the root word and you add the suffix ie, and that also you also um, add, a sub, add a prefix depending on how many you have. Again, two if it's di. I mean di for if it's two and tri if it's three. So for instance, example, S2O2 would be disulfur dioxide. And the third one we can do with is a binary acid that doesn't have any oxygen. What you do is you start with the prefix hydro, and then the element, you keep the root word and add IC. So HCl would be hydrochloric acid. That's it.